Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's work with two-step equations with fractions. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so as you know, the first thing we need to do is try to get the x or the variable by itself. So what we can do, first thing, is we can move this 6 fifths to the other side. Or you may look at it, we're going to eliminate it. So it's, it's plus 6, so let's complete an opposite operation. So we will subtract 6 fifths. So I'm going to subtract 6 fifths fifths, okay? And so 8 minus 6 is 2 over 5 equals 3 fifths x. So now these cancel out. So now what do we do? We have a, we need to get x by itself, so we have multiplication. So in order to, the opposite operation of multiplication is division. But with a fraction, to get rid of the 3 fifths Instead of dividing, you can multiply it by its reciprocal, which will be, I'm going to rewrite this, it will be 3 fifths times its reciprocal, which is 5 over 3 times equals x, or times x. So I need to do the same to this side. So we have 2 fifths times the reciprocal 5 over 3. So now these cancel because you end up, 3 times 5 is 15, 5 times 3 is 15, so they all cancel out. So we have x, so let's bring uh, this down, and now 2 times 5 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. So x is equal to 10 over 15, and I can reduce that down to 2 thirds by dividing everything by 5. Okay? 5 goes into 10, 2 times 5 goes into 15, 3. So there's your answer, x is equal to 2 thirds. Let's complete another one. Okay, now this one, uh, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is distribute the 8. So I'm going to bring down the 4 sevenths because we're going to distribute. 8 times c is 8c. Now when we distribute the 8, times the negative 6, 7. Remember, you are multiplying it by 8 over 1. So it'll be 8 over 1 times 6 over 7. So that becomes, let me write this down, a negative 48 sevenths equals 4 sevenths. Okay? Now make sure uh, you can see that, don't multiply the 8 times the 6 and the 8 times the 7, but it's 8 over 1 times that. Now, what do we do next? Well, we want to try to get the variable by itself. So we're going to add 48 sevenths to both sides. So I'm going to add 48 sevenths here. And so I will add 48 sevenths here. These cancel. So I bring down 8c is equal to... 48 plus 4, that gives me 52 sevenths. Now what I need to do is I am going to get rid of the 8 by, multiply, by dividing it by 8. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put this 8 over 1, and I'm just going to multiply it by its reciprocal. So let me rewrite that. So it will be 8 over 1 times 1 over 8c. Um, so, so what I'm going to do, again, I, I put it as a fraction and then multiplied it by its reciprocal. And so I'm going to do the same thing over here, 52 over 7 times 1 over 8, uh, because I'm doing the opposite operation of instead of uh, multiplication, I'm doing division, I can just multiply it by its reciprocal. Okay, so now that gives me 52, because 52 times 1 is uh, 52, 7 times 8 is 56, okay, equals, these cancel, C, okay, so I'm down to the answer, C is equal to 52 over 56. Now, I can reduce it by dividing each side by 4, okay, so 4 goes into 52 13 times, and 4 goes into 56 14 times that equals C. So there is your answer. C is equal to 13 fourteenths. Let's work another one. Okay, now for this one, I need to get C by itself. So how? what strategy can I do for this? 
Well, we have um, division because C, it's C divided by 3. So what we can do is we can multiply it. So we're going to multiply it by 3 over 1. And that will cancel. And remember, what I do on one side, I've got to do on the other. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down. These cancel. So now I'm left with C plus 4 equals 2 times 3 is 6. And 9 times 1 is 9. Okay, so now I've got a fairly straightforward um, fraction. So let's see what I can do here. Next, what we need to do is I need to get rid of this 4. And so what I can do is I can subtract 4 from both sides. Okay, so these cancel. C is equal to 6 ninths minus 4. And I'll do 4 over 1. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the 6 ninths to make it a little bit easier. And if I divide it by 2, okay, divide it by 2, then that can become, uh, what is it? 2 goes, actually, let's divide it by 3, and that becomes 2 thirds. So let's divide it by 3, not 2, okay? And then, so now we have C is equal to 2 thirds minus 4 over 1. Well, the common denominator is 3, so I'm going to multiply uh, everything by 3, 2 thirds, don't have to multiply anything there, minus 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 3 is 3. So now I have negative 10 thirds and a positive 2 thirds, and so that is going to become, if you'd like, I can rewrite that so it, it seems to be basically, no, I'll leave it like that. So negative two thir 12 thirds minus 2 thirds is equal to negative 10 over 3. And then if you would like, that can become a mixed fraction. 3 goes into 10 3 times negative with 1 left over. So that is C equals negative 3 and 1 third. So there's your answer. Okay, I hope that helped you with completing uh, problems with two-step equations with fractions. Thanks.